I got a new series we're bringing forth for you is Hot Sauce versus Hot Sauce. And in the first installment, we got Sriracha versus Frank's Red Hot Original. <laughs> Which has more flavor? Which has more heat? But more importantly, which one should you buy? We're going to answer all them questions and more. Stay tuned. First up, I would just like to take a moment to address a commenter in the previous video who said I look like a douchebag. F*** you. I will admit, I did look like a douchebag in, on the third outfit. But the rest looked great. Anyways, moving on. This review is going to cover three things, okay? We're going to cover smell, we're going to cover consistency, flavor, and heat. <laughs> I guess that's four things. <laughs> okay, first off, let's get with the smell. And what I smell right off the bat with Sriracha is a, just a nice aroma of garlic. That smells so good. Frank's Red Hot. Let's be nice and give it a shake. Jesus. Okay, give her a shake. Give her a smell. And I will say, I'm smelling salt and vinegar. <laughs> there may be a touch of cayenne pepper I'm smelling there. And for pepper-wise with both of these, I should mention, this is made with jalapenos, Thai chilies, and serrano peppers and it also involves sometimes the process of fermentation to make it which i really am a fan of in a hot sauce so that's pretty cool and pretty unique and then for the frank's red hot original it's made with aged cayenne peppers both of these have salt and garlic this one also has xanthan gum as a thickener but we'll touch a bit more on, on that in the consistency side of things, which we're going to do right now. And we got another new thing which we're adding into the new series, which is called the spoon test. <laughs> I'm going to show you how this is going to work right now, okay? We're going to get our Frank's Red Hot. And it's more of a consistency test with the spoon. We're just going to pour some on the spoon here. A little bit on the spoon by... I got a hair on there. I think I do. So we got a bit on there. Let's see how quickly it falls off. And look at that. It just runs right off as quick as you're, it, it can come off there, guys. It's a very thin, runny sauce, the Frank's Red Hot. Let's clear it. Clear the palate of the spoon. And this. let's try the Sriracha. And you know, the one thing I, I love about this sauce is the thickness of it, the creaminess of it. And just look, there's the spoon test, guys. Look at that. That's crazy, eh? Love it. Mm. You know, I just had this sauce again for the first time in a while. We went out to eat down at a restaurant there. And uh, the waiter asked me if I wanted some saw hot sauce he had. Frank's Red Hot, and he had Sriracha, and I went with Sriracha. You know, you're getting, it's such a creamy, uh, deliciously garlic. You get the garlic forward flavor up front, and you would get a little tinge of heat on the back. But yeah, I went with the Sriracha. I poured it all over my eggs, bacon, sausage. I was even sopping her up with some toast at the end, but it's a great sauce. So yeah, let's do a little bit of a taste test on it. You know, maybe you guys can't see it as well on the spoon. So let's go on the hand. But just such a great sauce. You know, it's it's a beautiful sauce, beautiful consistency, creamy, garlicky flavor up front. Mm. And you do get that tinge of heat on the back end. This is a great sauce, guys. So for me, you know, right away, this is winning. And basically every category for me, you know, it's winning in the, on the smell test, it's winning on the flavor test and the consistency test. Let's do the same with the Frank's Red Hot and see this, it's so runny, the Frank's Red Hot original. You got to be careful. You don't want to pour it all over the place. So just a little drip and like that'll run right off my hand if I'm not careful. And yeah. 
you know, with Frank's, I get a lot of the, yeah, I get a lot of the gar, I get a lot of garlic. I can maybe get a tinge of garlic, but I get a lot of vinegar and salt. Same with the pepper. I get a little maybe tinge of the cayenne pepper in there. Uh, but mostly I'm just getting the salt and vinegar. There is a bit of heat though. I, I think for heat wise, I think the Franks may be a touch hotter. I think that's the category the Franks win wins in is the 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 heat rating. But for overall, for a beginner looking to buy or to get into hot sauce and you're wondering, you know, I want to go to the grocery store and pick up a, a hot sauce I can add to all my meals. I would highly recommend Sriracha. Sriracha is going to be your go-to. This will get you kicking in the door and you'll love hot sauce. And, you know, kind of like me, I'll be put out. I, I've used it on a lot of things before, but I'll be even, I'll be using this whole, this whole bottle will be gone before this whole bottle. Put it that way. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is such a great hot sauce. And uh, it's made in, it gets its name Sriracha from a town in Thailand, I believe. <laughs> I believe the hottest pepper in here would be the Thai pepper at about 30 to 50,000 Scoville heat units. Yeah, something like that, I believe. And then the cayenne pepper is probably roughly around the same. Cayenne is, sorry, cayenne pepper is 30 to 50,000 Scoville heat units. And then the Thai pepper is 50 to 100,000 Scoville heat units. So there you go. But, I, I don't know, I'm getting a little tinge more of heat on this one, on the back back end after the salt and vinegar clears, <laughs> clears away. <laughs> or maybe it's from the vinegar, I'm not 100%. A few moments later. It seems like a premium garlic hot sauce. Not to mention, you know, I love the bottle, the sweet... Whoa. Some shot up there, guys. I'm making a mess. But I love the squeeze bottle, squirt top. Like, if you wanted to, you could just go... Beep. Hmm. Right from the bottle, bye. You could do it from this one, too. But the... <laughs> Alright, guys. So there you have it. The first winner in this new installment of Hot Sauce vs. Hot Sauce goes to... Sriracha. Cheers, everybody. I will say, though, there is not so much the original, but there is some sauces of Frank's I do like. Like, I do like uh, the buffalo sauce. You can get thicker sauces, too, for Frank's Red Hot. They recently came out with a honey garlic one I tried, which is really good. Uh, one of my all-time favorites, and I mentioned it before on this channel, was the sweet chili heat from Frank's Red Hot. I used to just go through bottle after bottle of that. The original, I do mind. It's not too bad on occasion, but there, it's just a lot of salt and vinegar for me. 